everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. If you watch this lesson, you learn the first conditional. There won't be a bright future unless we work on it now. They will move to another city if necessary. A student will complete an English course provided they are highly encouraged. Whatever happens to us won't change the outcome. In this lesson, as I said, we're going to look at the first conditional. So stay tuned. I've already talked about conditionals. If you want to watch those lessons, you may click here. Now, let's concentrate on the first conditional first. We use it when talking about a situation which may exist in the future, and thus is a probable situation. We have a formula, and that is the subject plus the present simple. Then we need will plus infinitive. So the first part we call it a condition, and then the second part we call it a result. Just like my introductory example. If you watch this lesson, you'll learn the first conditional. Now, I could have said you'll learn the, the first conditional if you watch this lesson. It's the same thing. The only thing that changes is the importance that you want to give to the, uh, to the first part of the sentence. For example, in this case, you'll learn the first conditional is more important than if you watch this lesson. So, I've listed four rules or four tips for you to follow and to understand better the first conditional. The first tip that I want to talk about is to use unless instead of if. Unless means if not. The example was, there won't be a bright future unless we work on it now. So, we have the result right here, there won't be a bright future, and then the condition unless we work on it now. I could have said, there won't be a bright future if we don't work on it now. It's the same thing. Now, let's take a look at the second uh, tip. We could omit the verb to be by adding if plus adjective or a prepositional phrase. If you don't know what a prepositional phrase is, you can click here and watch a lesson on that. The example that I gave you at the beginning was they will move to another city if necessary. So we have if plus adjective necessary. The other example that I listed here, he won't go to the beach if hot. He will go to the beach if warm. Okay, the third uh, tip is we can use provided, provided that, proving, as long as, only if, when you want to state that one situation is necessary for another. Okay, let's take a look at the example. Maybe you'll get what I mean. A student will complete an English course, and then I used provided, just provided, provided they are highly encouraged. So the first, tar the first part of the sentence, you can see that is the result. The condition is after provided, provided they are highly encouraged. Let's take a look at the, another example. Her parents won't worry as long as she calls them every evening, for example. Her parents won't worry is the uh, result of the, the statement as long as she calls them, is the conditional, is the condition of the sentence. Now, the last tip that I have for you today about the first conditional is, in the condition, we can also use whoever, whatever, wherever, however, whichever, and whenever. Let's take a look at my examples. Whatever happens to us, so this is the condition part of the statement, won't change the outcome. Won't change the outcome is the result. 
Another example would be whenever I see her in the condition, I'll tell her about her marks is the result of the sentence, of the statement. Now, let's recap. So in this lesson, I talked about the first conditional. It's a situation that may happen in the future. So it's probable. So we have a formula for this. In the condition part of the sentence, so after if, unless, provided, etc., we need the, the subject, obviously, and the present simple. In the result, though, we need will plus infinitive. This could change according to the importance. So it may happen that you want the result first and then the condition. It's up to you. I gave you four tips on how to use the first conditional correctly. If you haven't understood, please rewatch the lesson. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to post your own example, you may do so. If you want to post also comments or questions, you may do so under this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I see you next week for a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.